Welcome back to the Daily Planet Newsroom. Today I'm going to be talking about that first official trailer, or is it a teaser trailer or is it an actual trailer? I don't know, I'm just going to call it the first official trailer for the Joker, or I guess it's just called Joker, which comes out in October of this year. I woke up today, everybody else had seen the trailer, I was like, holy shit, I haven't, okay, I need to watch that now. I've seen the trailer, I have processed it, and now I'm ready to talk about it, or at least give my general thoughts on the trailer as a whole. It's kind of like a reaction, but not really. The Joker film is directed by Todd Phillips, and it stars Joaquin Phoenix, and they have described this movie as a character study movie about a man who becomes the Joker. It's not a movie that's meant to tie into a bigger cinematic universe. It's not a movie that's meant to, you know, connect or have sequels or anything like that. It is just telling a one-off, standalone story about somebody who slowly loses their mind and eventually becomes the Joker. In that sense, this trailer gave me pretty much everything that I expected and more. I love the tone. I love the style. I love the aesthetic. I love the fact that this trailer, just from the look and feel of it, just slaps differently. This is a film that doesn't look anything like Shazam or Aquaman or Wonder Woman or even Man of Steel or Batman v Superman or any of the other films that have come out in DC so far. It's going to be a character study movie. They said it's going to be more personal, more intimate. It's going to be more of a psychological movie instead of it actually being about the clown prince of crime. Because obviously visually it looks kind of art housey. I don't know if art housey is actually a term that you use to describe the cinematography for a movie, but either way, this movie looks at minimum like it could be eggs on a tit. You know, eggs on Joker's tit, if that's a thing. They show you a lot of Arthur Fleck the man, and they really do show you along the course of the trailer what it's like to have your mind messed with to the point that you slowly descent into madness. I love the background song, Smile, by I can't remember who. Is it Nat, Nat, Nat King Turner? I can't remember who actually sings the song, but it's Smile. Smile is playing in the background of this trailer. It's oh so appropriate. A lot of shots of Arthur Fleck the man. You see Arthur Fleck talking to a therapist trying to work out his issues. It's like they're taking bits and pieces from other Joker stories throughout the years and they're like combining them into their own Elseworld version of Joker's origin. For example, you see Arthur out on the streets and he's, you know, waving a sign around and he's, you know, he's got the clown gear on and stuff like that. You also see him writing down jokes on a piece of paper and then towards the end it just turns really big and it turns into stupid and it turns into a bunch of other stuff. Which tells me that they're also going the failed comedian route for this one and they also do a great job at illustrating that while this doesn't connect to another bigger universe out there, it still is something that feels like it could connect to Batman's universe because Thomas Wayne shows up in this trailer. There's a shot of Arkham State Asylum. It's not Arkham Asylum, but it's like Arkham State Hospital or something like that. A lot of people are bitching about that. They're just kind of like, oh, why not just call it Arkham Asylum? I'm like, how do you know it's not going to be called Arkham Asylum by the end of the movie? Like, maybe it's just Arkham State Hospital for like a portion of the movie and then by the end of it it turns into Arkham Asylum. I don't know. The fact that Gotham is name dropped and Arkham is seen and then we see Thomas Wayne on TV talking about how yeah, Gotham's turning into a pretty big shithole. All of that does a great job at selling you on the fact that while this is Elseworld it still does borrow from the DC comics and the DC lore. I'm pretty sure the guy that plays Thomas Wayne on TV is the same counselor guy from The Dark Knight Rises. Like maybe somebody can fact check me on that in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. The way that they're taking Arthur Fleck on this journey, by the way, Joaquin Phoenix definitely looks like he's on his method actor shit. He's lost a ton of weight. He looks like a fucking skeleton. He's just sitting there in the mirror playing with his face and trying to make it look like a smile. You have that one weird scene where he's messing with the kid's mouth and he's trying to make the kid's mouth look like a smile and I'm just kind of sitting there like, wait, is, is that Bruce Wayne? That is Bruce Wayne. First of all, where are Thomas and Martha? Second of all, what... Why, why Why? are you messing with the kid's face, man? It actually looks like a tragic story for Joker. Like, just a man who's been beaten down with life. You can assume maybe something happens to his mom. That scene of him on the train, and he's just, like, laughing. He's got his clown makeup on, and he's just, like, losing his mind. And people on the train, of course, because people are dicks. You have that other scene where he's whirling his sign around on the streets of Gotham, and then somebody steals his sign. He chases after them. They beat him in the face with it. If for nothing else, that scene has already created some really great memes that are on Facebook. Like, a lot of DC fans are taking it, and they're basically using it like okay well warner brothers is the one that hits us in the face with the sign and and us we're we're the fans like we're the joker definitely getting a lot of brian azarello vibes from this trailer though if you guys haven't read his comic edition his graphic novel on joker you guys Definitely should check that out. It's one of the best Joker stories I've ever read. If this movie is half as messed up or twisted or interesting as that story, then I feel like this movie might be one of my favorite movies of the year. Like, already, that's the vibe I'm getting from this movie. The movie doesn't answer all the questions that I have, like Zazie Beetz. I still don't know what her role is in this movie. I mean, she's great to look at, and I'm glad she's in the movie. I don't actually know what she's doing in the movie. There are those theories floating around out there that Arthur Fleck will become Joker by the end of the movie, and that he will be responsible for Thomas and Martha Wayne losing their lives, and that in turn 
turn will, of course, lead to Bruce Wayne becoming Batman. There's another weird theory out there that I heard where it's like Arthur Fleck is not actually the Joker in this movie. He's just like the Joker's father. And by the end of the movie, he'll give way to another kid who will turn out to be Jack Napier. And Jack Napier will grow up to become the Joker. I would buy that theory if this wasn't like a one-off type of thing. Like if they didn't clearly establish that this movie is not supposed to have any sequels or whatever. So even if they set up Jack Napier to be like a thing by the end of this movie, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to see that movie. So... It's like, what's the point? And yes, this movie is not technically a part of the DCEU, but still, it just opens the door for more Elseworlds stories. Well, I asked this question on social media earlier, and I asked, okay, guys, what other Elseworlds stories are you guys interested in seeing adapted to the big screen in DC's Black Label? A lot of different answers. You got Speeding Bullet. Obviously, you guys remember that story, that Elseworlds story, where basically if you take Superman and you give him Batman's life and they just kind of coalesce and combine like that, that speeding bullet obviously elseworld's finest with supergirl and batgirl that was one that was thrown out there a lot of people are really excited to see an elseworld story focusing on batman beyond and obviously superman red sun i mean superman red sun is just kind of like one of the quintessential superman stories for me so i wouldn't mind seeing that on an elseworld black label either i'm gonna throw out a name that not a lot of people are actually thinking about when it comes to this elseworld shit what about the question i mean come on you're telling me that you can't make an interesting movie about the question the greatest conspiracy theorist of all time and is one of the best detectives in the world. You have to make an interesting movie about that. Question is personally my pick for the next Elseworlds type of story that they want to tell, but either way, guys, let me know what you thought about the Joker trailer. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What are you interested in seeing when the film actually comes out in October? Is there anything that you didn't want to see? Hit me up in the comment section below and let's talk about it, and if you like what you see, tell me how you feel, and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.